The universe is full of mysteries, especially this little thing that makes up everything called the atom. Whether it's the sun, the moon, stars, animals, or humans, we're all made of this tiny thing. From school, we know that atoms are super small, but if someone asks, how small exactly? It's hard to picture. In textbooks, they're drawn like the sun and planets, but the real shape is way weirder, and they're way, way, way smaller. How small? Well, take a piece of paper. You'd need a million atoms stacked up to match its thickness. Wanna know how small an atom really is? Let's compare it to a ping pong ball. Compared to a ping pong ball, atoms are incredibly tiny. If you inflated an atom to the size of a ping pong ball, that ball would grow bigger than Earth. Yeah, atoms are that small. But hold up, don't get overwhelmed yet. Even though the word atom means something that can't be divided, they're not the smallest thing humans know of. Inside atoms, there's a whole other world, tiny beyond belief. So how small is this mini world? Grab your superhero suit because we're diving into the wild world of quantum. To see this super tiny world, let's start by looking at the small stuff around us. We often think we're small, right? But compare that to a tiny ant. Ants are just a few millimeters long. You'd need 15 million ants to weigh as much as one average human. Even smaller are bacteria. The biggest bacteria we know of live in the ocean, and even then, they're tinny. But surprisingly, we can still see them with our naked eyes. These tiny creatures? You could fit about 100,000 of them on a regular sheet of A4 paper. And bacteria aren't the only small thing in the ocean. From the vast seas, there's something we use every day. Salt. You know, those little grains we sprinkle on our favorite meals. They're way smaller. You can fit about 100,000 grains of salt on just one tablespoon. Closer to home, the smallest thing we can see with our eyes is actually on our bodies. Guess what it is? Yep, a human hair. It's only 0.1 millimeters thick. That's about 100 hairs laid side by side to make just one centimeter. And even though hair is super thin, it's nothing compared to how small atoms are. You'd need 500,000 atoms lined up to match the thickness of one single hair. Okay, before we rush into atoms, those were just things we can still see. As we go deeper, we need the superpower of a light microscope. Here, we find tiny things like the cells in our bodies, including red blood cells. 25 trillion of these little guys zoom around in your body every day. To give you an idea, comparing a red blood cell to a bottle cap is like comparing the bottle cap to the Statue of Liberty. Here's our blood, a liquid that's crucial to keeping us alive, and it's this small. These cells transport oxygen all over our bodies, starting from the lungs. And it's in the lungs where we meet a very viral problem. By now, we all know the coronavirus lives in this organ. And even then, they're way smaller. Many people think bacteria and viruses are the same size. But nope, viruses are way smaller. Imagine if the coronavirus were the size of a soccer ball, a red blood cell would be as big as two goalposts, and that bacteria we talked about earlier? It would stretch across 13 soccer fields. But take a deep breath because viruses aren't even the smallest thing that can mess up our lungs. Here we can see the tiniest particles of cigarette smoke in their real form. Yep, these tiny things can mess with our respiratory system and are actually one of the leading causes of death in the world. Going even smaller, there's a spiral ladder that holds all the info about our physical traits and behavior. Yep, DNA. That little ladder inside every cell in your body is actually a strand that, if stretched out, could be nearly two meters long. Um, it might sound simple, but this is just the length of DNA from one cell. With trillions of cells in our body, the total length of DNA could stretch hundreds of trillions of meters maybe even farther than the distance between you and that one person you can't stop thinking about. That's DNA, the blueprint of every living thing on Earth. It's the recipe that makes you, you. But if you're still watching this, get ready for a shock because this blueprint is nothing compared to the molecule that life itself depends on, water. 
This molecule covers most of our planet and is made up of two types of super tiny atoms, each a piece of life's puzzle. And, yep, it's from these molecules that we meet the so-called indivisible matter, the stuff that makes up the sun, planets, earth, animals, and humans. This is the atom. And now we're entering the quantum world. At some point, we might have thought atoms were the smallest things, but really they're like fruits with seeds inside. These seeds are called protons and neutrons and the things orbiting around them, electrons. But unlike a fruit that's full, an atom is mostly empty space. In fact, most of the atom is just empty, empty, empty space. Earlier, we imagined how small atoms are compared to other stuff, but now let's compare it to its own core, which is even smaller. If we enlarged an atom to the size of a marble, you still wouldn't be able to see the nucleus. Only when the atom is blown up to the size of a soccer stadium could you see the nucleus, about the size of that same marble. But we're not done yet. The atom's nucleus is made up of something even smaller called quarks. These guys are 10,000 times smaller than the nucleus itself, and numbers like that are hard to picture, so let's compare them to the stuff we started with. If we blew up a quark to the size of a marble, guess how big the atom would be? The atom would cover the distance from New York to Florida. From the quark's point of view, our marble would be not just as big as Earth, not as big as the Sun, but almost as big as our entire solar system. So have we reached the smallest size yet? You guessed it. Nope. There's a size that's not just smaller than atoms, but 10 billion trillion times smaller than atoms. Hang on tight. Let's go there. This is the Planck length, the smallest measurement we know. It's so small. Imagine this. Your body is closer in size to the entire universe than it is to the Planck length. And below this? We don't know yet. It's still a mystery. But for now, through physics, this is the smallest size that might exist. Life and the universe are full of wonders. But think of it like this. Besides the vastness of the universe, there's another grand universe inside every fingertip of ours. We often think the universe is infinite in size, but in reality, it can go infinitely small too. Take a deep breath for a moment. The quantum world is just one of the many puzzles we're trying so hard to solve. Maybe this video has shown you that humans aren't as small as we think, and this is where we realize how far science has taken us, beyond the limits we ever imagined. Never stop asking questions.